I'm Jasmine Bailey. Welcome to Empower with Jasmine. Our guest today is NCCU alum, Dr. Louise Gooch. Dr. Gooch is the founder of the Durham Divas and Dude Cheerleading Squad, whose members are ages 50 or better. <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Gooch, and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Jasmine. It's my pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. So how old were you when you first started cheerleading? I was at the ripe old age of 60. 60. Yeah. And what motivated you to start cheering at this stage in your life? Well, cheerleading has always been something that I have been interested in. Are there any challenges that cheerleading has helped you overcome? Yes, it has. Um, I think it has enhanced my participation in speaking to groups, in performing to groups. Um, most of all, I think I serve as an inspiration to other seniors. I certainly hope that I do, that you need to get out of the house, get off of the rocking chair, get out there and move your body to the best of your ability. And we're not dead yet, so we're gonna right. keep it moving. That's good. <laughs> so how did you get the team together? We started off um, really several years ago, as a matter of fact, in 2002. Um, but we really didn't do anything until 2004, because in 2002, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. So that sort of put everything on hold until I got my strength and my energy to get a squad going. I put up a sign-up sheet at the YMCA, and nine ladies signed up immediately. That's great. And have you or the squad earned any awards or honors? Yes, we have. Um, we have won nine gold medals in the North Carolina Senior Games. Um, cheerleaders showcase so we're really happy about that um, we've also won at the local level with the Durham senior games we won the gold in that competition as well and what exactly are the senior games the senior games um, is very similar to the Olympics in that we offer various athletic um, types of competitive sports. We have over 60,000 seniors in North Carolina participating in the senior games every year. So tell us about the senior games in Durham in particular. Okay, the senior games um, in Durham will start April the 17th and they will go on at various locations throughout the city of Durham through May the 4th. Um, April the 17th is when we have the opening ceremony. We will have the closing ceremony on May the 4th at the Durham Center for Senior Life. Durham Parks and Rec are responsible for organizing and planning all of the events of the Durham Senior Games. Ms. Bridget Robinson and Mr. Michael Honeycutt are our coordinators for the um, Durham Senior Games and we are continuing to grow. One can register throughout the month of February, March, until about the first week in April. And registration forms can be found at all of the senior centers located here in our beautiful city of Durham. Okay. So come on out. <laughs> and is the Senior Games an annual thing? They have it every it year? is an annual thing, usually in the spring of each year. We have what we refer to as our local games. Mm -hmm. And um, some of the local games will start around February and March. And they will go on until about the latter part of May. And then the state 
competitions um, will usually start about the latter part of August or September, and they will go on until around November. And if people wanted to sign up to volunteer, how would they go about that? All they have to do is, and this is for the um, Durham Senior Games, okay. is to contact um, the Parks and Recreation Department um, and ask for Ms. Bridget Robinson, and she would assist you with that. And if you would like to volunteer for the North Carolina State Games, all you have to do is to visit their website, which is ncseniorgames.org. Do the Divas and Dude have any post or pregame rituals? Yes, we do. And it's, I like to refer to it as our pre rehearsal, pre game rituals. We always start our um, rehearsals as well as our performances with a prayer. Two things in particular we pray for, and God, it's been really good, mm -hmm. that He grants us the strength and energy for us to do the very best that we can, and secondly, to help us remember. <laughs> when you pass 50, your memory starts slipping. <laughs> so uh, it's so important that cheerleaders remember yeah. things. <laughs> so that's how we started off. So how does your family feel about you cheerleading? They love it. <laughs> I have one son, and he tells all his friends that I'm abnormal. He <laughs> said, my mother does not act like a senior citizen. She acts younger than I do. That's good. Of course, that makes me feel good. <laughs> and I do. I go more than he does, and I certainly am much more active <laughs> than he is. So he's very proud, and he's just tickle pink to see his <laughs> own mom out there still sh shaking what she's got. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your profession before you retired and started the team? I was Director of Nursing Education at Durham Technical Community College for 31 years. Um, prior to that, I worked as a registered nurse in the intensive care unit at the Durham VA Hospital. And prior to that, I worked um, at Duke Medical Center. Okay. So I've always been in health and nursing mm -hmm. all of my career. So how do people usually react to you when they find out that you're a cheerleader? Oh, they just start grinning from <laughs> ear to ear. And um, they don't believe it at first, I don't think. So I always tell them, please visit our website, which is germdivas.org, and you can see what we can do past the age of 50. <laughs> So years ago, you did an interview for the Durham Parks and Recreation show Playmore here in yes. the NCCU TV studio. Yes. Do you remember when that was? I, it, it was probably about eight or nine years ago when we did that. And it was quite an experience. I loved it dearly. Was that your first interview? No, it wasn't. I am an ambassador educator. In other words, I teach and I train individuals on how to go out and make presentations and how to sell the program to get more participants in. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm always out there either being interviewed or I'm teaching someone else how to do an effective presentation. And of course, interviews would be included in that. Mm -hmm. Um, tell us about any other interviews or projects that you are currently working on. Well, the very latest, hot off the press. <laughs> I was one of the featured um, participants in the Women's Health magazine, the January-February 2017 edition, uh, on how to live to be 100. That's great. And it had a cute little title, Health <laughs> Tips from Bad Da 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 <laughs> Old Ladies. And uh, so we teach you how to stay healthy and some of the things that we're doing. Um, another thing that I am involved in, um, I have been doing interviews with a book publishing company out of New York with Rodell Publishers. They are going to be publishing a book in 2018 
on healthy living or how to age healthy. So we're working with them on that. Um, we continuously perform throughout the year at various events. Right now, the various road races are starting. So we usually cheer the runners and the walkers on or welcome them back in when they come. We cheer at halftime at basketball games. We've cheered here at Central on several occasions and it's amazing to see how the students look at us <laughs> and say, that's my grandma, she's my grandma's age, and look at her. So those are some of the main things that um, we're doing right now. Okay. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today. Is there it anything is. else you would like to tell our audience? Well, I think one of the main things, this is our little motto that we live by. You don't stop playing when you grow old. You grow old when you stop playing. So we're just going to keep on playing until we can't play anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you again for joining us. That does it for Empower with Jasmine. I'm Jasmine Bailey. See you next time.